The Windows Server Backup feature is not available by default on the Windows Server. Before you start backing up your servers, you must install this feature. To do so, click on the Add Role and Features link on the dashboard. On the wizard, click Next. Keep the role-based or feature-based installation option selected and click Next. On this screen, you must select the server you want to install this feature. Here you can see our two Windows servers in the list. Select the server on which you want to install the feature. If you forget the server name, you can get it by clicking on local server. And here is the local server name. OK, so I select my server and click next. Windows Server Backup is not a role, it's a feature. So I click on Features. I scroll the Features list all the way down. I click on the Windows Server Backup feature. Then I click Next. Before I click the Install button, I want to talk about this feature. Restart the destination server automatically if required. If I check this feature, I will get a warning that says if the restart is required, this server restarts automatically without additional notifications. I don't recommend enabling this option, especially on a production server, so as not to disturb your system. If a restart is required, you must schedule it outside the business hours. Now I click on the install button to start the installation and wait till the installation completes. All right, the installation is completed, so I can close the wizard. You can now start using the Windows Server Backup feature by clicking on the Tools menu, scrolling down and clicking on the feature. The Windows Server Backup panel opens and now I can start backing up my servers and data. We will see how to use this feature in detail in the following lectures.